Hi, welcome back to episode three, season two of Alexi Sales All Electric Psycho Geography. And this episode should be called, will be called, To Infinity, brackets dental practice and beyond. Because that's the name of my dentist. We're gonna go to my dentist, have a look at that, Infinity Dental Practice, and we're gonna go beyond. It's a miracle. Before we do that, I just we are located in a beautiful spot, which is called Brixton Orchard. It's got a very interesting history that this was actually the site of a nuclear bunker where the staff of Lambeth Council, in the event of nuclear war, were going to be housed. And then after that, it was actually for a while a, illegal. When it was closed down, there was some underground raves here. And the occupants fought to have it. I guess it was probably going to develop it into some crap, but... The occupants fought to have it developed as what it is, which is Bri Bri Brixton Orchard. You can see there are many different types of apple trees here and a variety of other plants. And it's the most beautiful spot. It's not manicured like a lot of gardens. It is semi-wild. Um, and it's an extraordinary local resource, I think. So, uh, Brixton Orchard. I know, did I call it Brixton Orchard every time? It's called Brixton Orchard anyway. I'm going to be riding a different bike now. This is the one that uh, the good people at Himaway have given to, to Lau. So we're going to see, see how different that is. There's a step through. There's a step. This, oh, yeah, I don't know how to do this. I can only lift my leg over. I don't know how to step through, really. Though you, these brakes feel very different to mine. Talao's also got their handlebars much higher. All right, I'm off. Okay, to infinity, dental practice, and beyond! So this is also be interesting um, test that we'll be going up a fairly steep hill, which is Streatham Hill. So that will also provide a an interesting test of this bicycle's hill climbing capabilities. One of the other problems, actually, with for me, personally, that I can see as an off-road bike that it works is that I, the way I use a bicycle is that I ride places, you know, meetings, restaurants, martial arts, dojos, and then I leave my bicycle outside. And I've been really reluctant to do that with the beast because I'm worried about getting it nicked. A friend of mine came to Kung Fu and she left her, the battery on her bike and then you know, it's stolen and it cost her 700 pounds to get it replaced. Um, you know, I can obviously take the battery off, but it is amazingly heavy. Well, the bus is going through the red light, so, oh. Well, we got, maybe we got traffic. Good. Fuck it, eh? I'd say this is like, seems like a more, or price riding position and So again, there's lots of interesting um, 
blocks of flats up here, big like apartment buildings from 1920s, 1930s, where you can imagine that gentlemen lived and there was a, a restaurant <coughs> or cafe on the ground floor and uh, meals would be sent up to them in a, a dumb waiter. So that um, coped, actually this seems to cope with uh, hills better than the beast and feels like a much more comfortable riding position. All right, now I want you to curb your excitement because we are nearly there. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, just turning left off Streatham Hill. And here it is, Infinity Dental Practice. Here we are. This is the place. This is Infinity Dental Care. This is my dentist. And now we're going to carry on. And beyond. So obviously everything is going to be a, an anti-climax after seeing my dentists. But, uh, you know, highs and lows, that's what life is about, isn't it, really? And we're going to turn left onto the South Circular. Different uh, technology, wheel technologies here. Kid on a... 1980s, 1990s Bianchi, I would say. And then father and daughter on, uh, on their hopped up scooter. Okay, Christchurch Road. I don't know if I kept saying Stratham Hill, it's actually Brixton Hill. <laughs> I said Stratham Hill. I'm at Brixton Hill. Heading towards Tulse Hill, Lewisham, Bromley. That's Christchurch, Streatham. I've got nothing to say about any of this. I've never been here before, really. It's quite pleasantly leafy. That's a crow. I would say Talal tried to kill me just before um, that uh, he's, the front brake kept skipping and I said no you really got to um, check that it's dangerous but when I looked it wasn't he hadn't tightened the quick release lock so it was really dangerous.
don't know where this is. Oh, motherfucker. A bloke in a smart car thinks he's really cool making all that noise. But is he? Is he a dick? I see it's not the bloke in the smart car. I think it's Original it's that bus! Ah. I was slagging off the bloke in the smart car and it's a bus! It's called Sing.com. Well, I'm sorry, man, in smart car, if you watch in the unlikely event that you watch this video, I called you a dick. It's the bus. Uh, something going on here. That is the railway line to Gatwick Airport. Gatwick Airport. I find it much more, it's much more difficult to manoeuvre. I mean, I suppose you get used to it in time, but it's difficult to... One of these things is much more difficult to weave through a uh, crowd of traffic. Oi! Uh, the usual freelance traffic lights. This is much more comfortable than my bike. I don't know. I seem to have ruined mine. I might take Talal's off him. After all, he's only got this because of me. I might take this one. Give him, leave him with the beast. Still on the South Circular, going through Fulsil, something like that. Pretty feeble bell, by the way. I've used mine a few times, nobody hears it. West Dulwich Station. Uh, 
I do this radio show, Strangers on the Train, um, Pick of the Week, twice on Radio 4. I'm reduced to pathetic bragging. It gets very pretty around here. Margaret Thatcher moved to Dulwich. Um, after she lost power, she, she had a house, I think somebody gave it to her probably, had a house on a, a kind of posh housing estate in Dulwich. And she hates it. Oh my God, fucking hell, look at that. That's Dulwich College. Jesus Christ, that screams imperial wealth and power, doesn't it? God almighty, that really makes you want to... That is extraordinary. I've, I've never been past that before, but it fills me both with uh, admiration and class hate. Good God. And beyond it, I think, is Brockwell Park, where I actually compared um, uh, a march. There was a concert. There was a thing called the People's March for Jobs in 1982, where the TUC the TUC got a load of unemployed kids and marched them pointlessly around the country trying to, I think it was kind of replicate the uh, Jaro marches, which also didn't achieve much. Uh, and I emceed a concert at Brockwell Park uh, with many top headline acts. I think Pete Townsend was there. Hazel O'Connor. Me. This is Frank Dixon way. Who's Frank Dixon? He has a way. And it's pretty. Look at this. Look at these fence posts. Not the usual hideous aluminium things that stop you throwing yourself under the traffic, but lovely white wooden things. I think they're wooden, maybe concrete with uh, chains between them. This is, this is what rich, the life for rich people is like. Even their road barriers are better than your more elegant. This is on the left, we're going up to Dulwich Picture Gallery, which, uh, gallery, which is actually a beautiful gallery in which I remember seeing a fantastic um, Paul Nash exhibition. And in fact, maybe we'll stop and have a coffee at the Dulwich Picture Gallery. I was just going to go and have a coffee in the, uh, there, yeah? Shall we? Yeah. What? No. Not necessarily, I just want a coffee. We're turning, we're, we're this old bickering, we're like a, we're like this old bickering e-bike couple, me and Talal now. He's been giving me advice about how me handlebars should be. I'm seething with anger, really. We're going to stop and have a coffee, but this isn't the end of the ride. going to stop and have a coffee because I like the look of this nice gallery. Ooh. And she looks like a bit of a cute. I'm just saying we're like an old electrified, like a man and his over-dependent son, I think. Like the our old Steptoe and his son. I'm a bit pissed off because your bike, because I've fucked with my bike so much. That's now horrible to ride. <laughs> Yours is really nice. It is nice, isn't it? <laughs> I think I've been riding a bike since I was nine, so that is over 60 years. I'm like, don't give me advice about riding a bike, you uh, yeah, junked up jack and nape. I noticed you a bit. Yeah. But do you see why I was surprised to hear you say that it was shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. It is a nice ride, isn't it? This is not yeah, this is a nice ride. Yeah, I don't know what I've done with mine. I don't know what the fuck you've done. It was, I didn't, I don't know, maybe. 
Let's, let's try and restore it to its factory settings and then we'll see how I feel. Why don't we go in, sit on a bench or something, and I'll go, I'll go get us coffees. That could yeah. be part of the film, it'd be nice. Yeah. I want ice cream as well. Okay. Or a cake or something nice. Get me something nice. Sure thing, of course, anything you like. See, she tried to kill me. Have you got any cash on you? Oh, I'm paying now, am I? It would be nice. Just because I'm a r extraordinary rich. And powerful. And powerful individual. Flat white. And a I'm nice a cake or something. Too. Yes, you could have a coffee too. Their uh, freezer apparently couldn't handle the, the heat and it's gone kaput. So I've got a cinnamon bun. No, oh, nice! <laughs> We're not. This is where all the white people are. I said that South London was very diverse. Yeah. It is not here. You're in Dulwich now. Camera. I'm the blackest person in Dutch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Yes. Yes, please. Oh, oh they brought the whole cavalry. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Oh. Is this edible? It's though? nice and soft. No, <laughs> I don't think it does. Well, of course it is. Mm -hmm. Well, you think it's the wrapper? Yeah. Does it taste like paper? A bit. <laughs> I'm mean, eating it anyway. When I was a little boy, I used to eat all sorts of. I used to eat like paper and chew on rubber and shit right. like that. Did you do weird shit like that when you were a little no. boy? No. But I think it's that because you're deficient in some. It's not unheard of. But no, I didn't. Know. Deficient in what? Mental capability? No, yeah, some vitamins or some kind. So, what? My instincts are telling me to eat paper? Yeah, it's like wolf, like the cat eats grass and then. <laughs> it's not the same. I think I was just an idiot. Oh, maybe. I had an oral fixation as a kid. Oh, right. I used to shove all sorts of shit in my mouth. Just to see what it felt like. Yes, this is edible. <laughs> a psychologist would have a... Yeah, would have a field day. Yeah. Mm. Like, you know when you get like a magazine and it has like a free thing on it, whether it's a CD or a toy or whatever, and you take it off the front of the magazine and it's stuck on with this gummy glue stuff. Yeah. Straighten you them out. Really? Chew, chew the hell out of that. And did you stop or were you just lost interest? Or? So it's a nice day today, isn't it? Um. <laughs> Changing the subject. <laughs> you started having sex. I'm not. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's 